welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another comfort food for the entire family, crock pot style. It is that time of year and I am bringing you a slew of crock pot recipes that are absolutely delicious, WW friendly and fabulous for the entire family. Comfort food at its max. This recipe is no different. It is so delicious, so filling, so satisfying and so comforting. So if you wanna see what recipe I have in store for you, just stay tuned. For tonight's comfort food dinner, slow cooker style, we are going to be making a pot roast. What is better on a cold day than a pot roast? It's comforting, it's delicious, it's point friendly for red meat and you get your veggies, your starch, everything all in one meal. This is a very simple recipe, so let me show you what is in tonight's pot roast dinner. First, you're going to need a roast. I just have a chuck roast here. It's a total of almost three pounds, 2.88. I like to buy the boneless chuck roast only because it's a little easier to remove the fat once the meat is cooked and you don't have to pay for the bone as part of the roast. So I picked up a boneless chuck roast. I always use baby cut and peeled carrots. It's easier than peeling and dicing up carrots. So baby carrots and again, potatoes. A quick saver is buy the little tiny potatoes so you don't have to cut them up. Makes it really easy. These two things are a big saver on a pot roast in the crock pot recipe. You'll also need two cups of water that is going to help make brown gravy. So two packages of brown gravy. And I have a quite a large onion. The recipe calls for two onions, but I'm just going to slice up this large onion. So let me get my onion sliced up and let's get this crock pot dinner put together. So let's get going on this crock pot dinner. Now, if you're not using a crock pot liner, you will wanna spray your crock pot with nonstick cooking spray so everything just doesn't stick to the bottom of your crock pot. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and grab out your roast. You're just going to place that in the bottom of your crock pot. Mine's big, so it pretty much takes up the whole bottom of my crock pot. Another reason why you wanna make sure that you're spraying it so it doesn't stick. To that, I went ahead and just kind of chopped up my onion here. I'm just gonna go ahead and just add my onion. You kind of want to surround your roast with all of the potatoes, onions, carrots, that type of thing. That way it really adds to the flavor. I'm even gonna tuck a few here under my roast. And once we get the onions in, we're gonna go ahead and add in the potatoes. Next up are our potatoes. So I have my whole bag. I'm actually gonna use all of these petite white potatoes in my roast here. And again, I am gonna tuck a few kind of in and under the roast. That way it just kind of adds to the flavor, makes it really yummy. So again, you guys, these are the perfect size for this. They're already the greatest size that you don't have to cut them and add an extra step. So potatoes are in. Next are our carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this entire bag of baby carrots only because we like lots of carrots with our roast. We wanna get in a good, dose of veggies in our recipe. So again, tuck them in, surround that roast with all of that goodness. And then we're gonna make up our gravy. So in my bowl here, I added one cup of the two cups of water. I do have the other cup right here. To my bowl, I'm going to go ahead and add one packet of my brown gravy. And I'm just gonna add that in and we're gonna stir it together. So just one cup of water and one packet of your brown gravy. And we just wanna stir it until it's fully combined. All right, we're ready to add this water and gravy mixture here into our roast. Now the other packet of gravy and the other cup of water, we're not going to add until one hour before our roast is done. So now we're ready to go ahead and put on the lid. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine on to high for the first couple of hours because it is already about 11 in the morning. I went to Jazzercise and came home and got this started. So I'm gonna turn mine to high for a couple hours and then I'll put it on to low. Ideally, you would wanna cook this on low for eight to 10 hours. So an hour before this is done, I'll be back and we'll add in that second cup of gravy. How long has it been since I kissed you? I don't want to wait. How long has it been since you held me? I don't want to wait. 
So it's about an hour before dinner. So I just mixed up that second packet of gravy and look how good this looks, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. I just mixed it with one cup of water, just like we did with the first packet of gravy. And we're gonna let this continue cooking for about the next hour and it should be good to go. It smells delicious. So I just pulled the lid off of the pot roast. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up. It smells really good. It's nice and thick from that gravy mix. So you can add a little bit of gravy to your potatoes. So I'll get this plated up and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points. I don't wanna wait. How long has it been since you held me? I don't wanna wait. How long has it been since I felt like this? for joining me on another comfort food for the entire family crock pot style. I hope you enjoyed seeing an absolutely delicious pot, ro re pot roast recipe. Wow. In the crock pot. It was so delicious, you guys. I mean, absolutely amazing. That gravy just really finished off the dish. It was super filling and great in smart points considering you're having roast. So good. Highly recommend. The recipe is down in the description box below, as well as links to all of my favorite things, discounts I can offer to you, and of course my Facebook group. So if you are not part of my Facebook group, highly recommend that you come over and join us. We're getting close to that 12,000 member mark. It is such a great place to be. So please feel free to come over and join us. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, subscribe hit the bell, do all the things so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'd appreciate a big thumbs up on this one if you love comfort food in the crock pot, easy peasy meals. And of course, comment down below and let me know if you're gonna be making this meal for your family. <laughs>